Shalom, thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Ryan, for coming to Jerusalem. Uh, we have just finished an excellent and fruitful meeting uh, with the uh, special envoy, uh, Mr. Uh, Brian Hook. We discussed future steps that the U.S. can take against the Iranian regime for its bridges of sanctions and Malayan behavior in the region as we face significant uh, decision on the Iranian issue. Uh, I repeated during the conversa conversation our concern of the, uh, to this special envoy about Iran's continued breach of the armed embargo. Iranian activities continue to support and arm proxies in the region. They uh, cause instability and uh, insecurity in the region, uh, including Hamas, Hezbollah, and others. Israel and the United States sees eyes to eye on the steps that are needed, and we must not ignore this violation. Our good meeting, I think, is also reflects the depth and the nature and the quality of the excellent special relationship between Israel and the United States. I will simply say that we are on the same page in this issue. We are in full support of the embargo resolution tabled by the United States, and we cannot accept a situation where we are not extending uh, this embargo. Iran should not and cannot have access to buy and to export a uh, weapon. So I would like to take the opportunity to thank the administration for their approach to the Iranian as a whole, considering the nuclear program and the embargo, to thanks to uh, uh, the special envoy, uh, Brian Hook, for his determination and the fact that he is dedicating himself to uh, an important issue for the state of Israel. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Minister Ashkenazi. Um, had a very good meeting together and discussed a number of issues, uh, uh, Iran obviously, but also some other issues that are of common interest. I also want to applaud the decision to um, promote Alon Ushpiz to uh, Director General. Um, he's somebody that I've been working with for three and a half years. And uh, he's, he's a very special diplomat. He's very good. And uh, very glad to see him in a position of leadership. Thank you very much. I'm glad that even overseas they... <laughs> He's got a fan club. He has a good fan club in the United States. I think I'm the captain of it. So um, I think, uh, as, as Minister Ashkenazi said, we see eye to eye on the need for the Security Council to extend the arms embargo on Iran. Uh, I was the lead negotiator of Resolution 1747 in 2007, which put into place uh, the arms embargo prohibiting Iran from exporting weapons. And then a few years later, uh, that embargo was enhanced, uh, forbidding member states of the United Nations from uh, selling weapons to the Islamic Republic. So we have an arms embargo that has been in place for 13 years. And because we're dealing with the Iranian regime, uh, we're dealing with the world's leading state sponsor of terrorism and anti-Semitism. And so when we are looking over the horizon in only four short months, Iran will be in a position to purchase fighter jets, attack helicopters, submarines, large caliber artillery, um, missiles of various ranges, warships. And these are the conventional weapons um, that are going to be allowed to, for Iran to freely import and export. The entire arms embargo would get lifted. And I can say, from spending a lot of time here in this region, and seeing Iranian weapons in places like Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, uh, that the last thing the Middle East needs is more Iranian weapons. And. I was able to visit, uh, prior to coming to Israel, the United Arab Emirates, uh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, uh, the Kingdom of Bahrain. And what you're hearing there is an unequivocal statement of support for extending this arms embargo. It is the right and necessary thing to do, uh, given the nature of the threat. Um, if you look at Iran's behavior 
uh, from the time that the Iran nuclear deal was concluded. The Iran nuclear deal used and exploited, uh, sorry, the, the, uh, the Iranian regime exploited the Iran nuclear deal to give it cover, to expand its non-nuclear threats to peace and security. And so they increased their ballistic missile testing, which prior to the Iran nuclear deal was prohibited. Iran increased its space launch vehicle um, tests. It expanded its regional aggression. And during the Iran nuclear deal, you had um, people in the Iranian government who were bragging that they owned uh, Baghdad uh, and Damascus and Lebanon and in Beirut. Um, and so uh, they were able to run an expansionist foreign policy under the cover of the Iran nuclear deal. So now, because of the deal, the arms embargo is scheduled to expire, and we cannot let that happen. It is very important that the international community, and especially the permanent members of the UN Security Council, listen to the voices in this region. Uh, those countries that are on the front lines of Iranian aggression, that it would be irresponsible of the Security Council. It would be a betrayal of the Council's duty to maintain international peace and security by letting this expire. So the United States has circulated a draft resolution that would extend the arms embargo. Secretary Pompeo today is going to be addressing the UN Security Council. Uh, and so there's going to be a lot of activity, um, building diplomatic support uh, for the necessary thing to do. And I know that uh, working as we have for many decades with Israel, shoulder to shoulder, uh, addressing the same threats. Um, Israel, the, um, the Islamic Republic chants death to Israel and death to America on a very regular basis. We do not believe the Iranian people share that view. And so the regime um, would like to, um, and what we just saw very recently, the Supreme Leader of Iran endorsed the Nazi policy of genocide with a final solution. And so I would challenge anybody to explain to me why a country that threatens genocide against Israel should be allowed to have weapons restrictions loosened. Uh, the arms embargo has to continue. Uh, the 13-year arms embargo must continue because Iran has not behaved in a way over the last 13 years that would justify loosening these kinds of restrictions. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. The declaration is complete.